So today we're no-tilling winter wheat into corn stalks, as you can see. It's a common practice that's been researched over 20 or 25 years in this area. And the research pretty much suggests that no-till wheat with good management can yield just as much as conventional tillage, obviously with much minimal, much less input costs. The reason for this video today, we've got quite a few calls from different growers this week that are trying to no-till into heavy residue and or harder soils, drier soils, and they're struggling to get their disc drills, John Deere disc drills and old disc drills, in the ground. So this is our John Deere single disc drill. It's not a 750, but I had a call today from a grower that did have a 750 and he said that the operator's manual suggested that you don't get out of the green zone from a point of view of down pressure. So I found a 1993, October of 1993 operator's manual. And I found a page approximately in the center that says indeed, never operate over green zone unless ballast suitcase weights in parentheses has been added but then on the next page it says never use so much down pressure that the left rear transport wheel lifts off the seedbed surface this causes over rotation of the openers and changes the relationship of open and disc blade seed boot and gauge wheel seed placement is adversely affected it then goes on to say a Maximum pressure on drills without ballast is at the top of the green, but if you add a thousand pound of suitcase weights, it says you can, uh, you can push that to the top of the yellow. So that's good information, basic information, but I would say in addition to that, that if you've got hard dry soils, especially heavy residue like this, where you've got to set your seeding depth deeper to be able to cut through the heavy residue and cut the soil surface open enough to place a seed at one or one and a half inch seeding depth below the soil surface, you're going to need more ballast and more down pressure and you're going to have to increase the rock shaft rotation angle to three to five degrees beyond horizontal by turning the down pressure up. Now this is a precision planting prototype drill we've been using for a few years it's got the cedar force with row by row sensing so it's sensing down pressure on a row by row basis and making adjustments on a row by row basis it's a system we really like we don't sell it but it's a system where we really like to achieve more consistent seeding depth within heavy residue and most of the seeds are getting in the ground to target seeding depth 